What up, this your man's T3. Right now I'm chilling. It's a nice summer day in Detroit. It make me reminisce about, you know, classics. This is like a... Good boy. Come on, nigga, I'm trying to do this interview. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it, it made me reminisce about uh, classic slum records that uh, we made. Um, one record come to mind is um, how we did um, uh, Get This Money. Get This Money is a classic record for a lot of reasons. It was like at that time in um, the late 90s, a lot of dudes was doing a lot of um, records about money. Because you had, you know, Benjamins, you know what I'm saying, a couple other records. So we wanted to, you know, do our hip hop version of that. And basically, uh, Dilla found this sample from this um, Herbie Hancock, uh, what is it called, Sunlight album. And uh, it was classic because it had these melodic vocorders, uh, vocor chords on the, on the record. And um, basically he took that, sampled that, added like this, this um, funky bass line. Back then, people were still doing uh, what we call multi-pitch bass lines. And basically, you know, you 16 noted and you, um, you know, it's on the uh, MP or whatever. It's just one of those classic records. And I remember just writing to that record. Um, me and Dilla, we sat down in the basement and uh, we kind of formulated the hook. And back then, we always do hooks where we kind of like do, did these chants where we was like, hey, 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 hey. You know, we always did stuff like that where it had like this, this swing, this stop and go type of chants. And that's one of those classic records like that. So I remember me and Dilla doing our verse, and then we later grabbed by 10, and we, uh, what was funny is we made him do his verse, like, he did about five verses to that song, because one thing sometimes we didn't like, well, Dilla didn't like, is sometimes by 10 wouldn't stay on subject matter. But I, but to me, that's what gave us that swing, that by 10 was always the curveball, and you didn't really know what you was gonna get. But you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm reminiscing about, sitting here on this hot summer day, waiting on my man, to cook up the turkey chops and keep it moving. This